Good evening, dear sleeper. This is Milbor. In planning my flower bed, I consulted several sources, and the first one indicated that there are a variety of opinions as regards the most effective way of planting flower beds. Specifically, some prefer the mixing of plants of different colors and varieties, whereas others prefer the ribbon style of planting. If the latter style is adopted, care should be taken to dispose the plants in beds so that the tallest will be at the back of the bed. Specifically, if the leader is against a wall or background of shrubbery, the others should graduate to the front in accordance with their respective heights, whereas in open beds on the lawn, it is recommended that the tallest plants be positioned in the center with the other plants grading down to the front on all sides, interspersing the colors so as to form the most effective contrast in shades. Flowers are often seen planted in masses of blue, yellow, crimson, white, and so forth, with separate beds of each blended harmoniously on the carpet of green. However, when the ribbon style is used in large beds, in forms so various that allusion can be made to only a few of the most conspicuous, different arrangements may be used, such as in a circular bed, which may be 20 feet in diameter. The bordering can be made of blue lobelia, attaining a height of 6 inches, adjacent to which one may include the Pollock geranium or Bizu zonal geraniums, growing about 9 inches high. If Pollock geranium is planted, the adjacent row is considered suitable for planting of the mountain of snow, which is a silver leaved geranium, followed by a circle of red arthy ranches, of which there are several varieties. And by the way, note that I favor usage of the archaic Latin pronunciations, i.e. from the Middle Roman Republic and earlier, which is based on my own research of Roman inscriptions and literary works, though to be sure there will be those and certainly among them the Latin traditionalists and classicists who may take issue with my renditions. Hence, alongside the red aranthes, may be planted the Centuria candidissima, or Dusty Miller, the center being a mound of scarlet sylvius. Narrow beds along the margins of walks can be formed of low-growing plants, such as the white lobella, gypsophilia, or silvered alyssum, for the front line, followed next by the Tom Thumb Tripolum, then as a center or third line, Fuchsia Golden Fleece, as a second margin line on the other side, Silver Leaved Geraniums with Scarlet Flowers, followed by a line of Blue Lobella. Shaded stars are useful in enhancing the effects of the lawn, specifically by planting them with Verbenas, Petunias, Phallox, Dromundi or Pudulaca, taking care that the ends of the stars are white and shaded to the center. It is recommended that the beds for perennials be at least two feet deep, and three is better, with a good garden soil, or soil from a cornfield, or any hoed crop where the weeds have been kept down and used to supplement all but the top layer one foot in depth, noting the applicability to both tree and shrub holes as well. The top layer of one foot in depth is suitable for use and may be applied in the bottom of the bed, mixed with fertilizer, or the soil brought in may be mixed with fertilizer and placed on top. In sections where the soil is three feet deep, the soil may be loosened to the recommended depth and fertilizer added. However, if the removal and bringing addition of new soil is not the option of preference, and if the soil is clay-like in texture,